Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Rich. And it's your boy Rod Moe. Yes, and today we'll be discussing shining your light. Oh, Don't yeah. dim your light. You know, whatever oh. cliche, but be in the light of the world. That's All of the lights. <laughs> I like that song too. And so yeah, so don't dim your light. We're gonna discuss ways um to be the light of the world, um to actually discuss what being the light of the world is, um as Christians. So I'm sorry, go ahead. Right? No, I just wanna say I just want y'all to stay lit. Uh, that, you feel me? That's bad. Yeah, just I love it. Stay lit. Stay lit. Listen, don't 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 dim it. it. Don't turn it down. I like it. Keep it on. Stay lit. Keep, keep it on. Litty. We yes. love it. We love it. Yes. And so we're going to start off with the scripture, Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. So we're just going to read that for you guys. Um, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Um, neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on the stand and it gives, it light, gives light to everyone in the house. Awesome. In verse 16, it says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So this is basically just talking about being the light of the world, that you can't hide hide the light, number one. And number two, if it's on a hill, you, you have to see it. You know, it's like you can't, you don't want to put it under, if you light a lamp, you're not going to put it under a bowl. Mm -hmm. If it's on a hill and it's in a, in, you know, in a big city, and it's a house on a hill. It's going to stand out. And if it's, if, especially if it's lit. Yes. So it's going to stand out. It's going to shine. And number three, you're not doing it for your glory. You're doing it for God's glory. So um, we're just going to jump into some tips about that. So being the light of the world, um, it makes me think of a lighthouse. So you know how a lighthouse is, um, is basically there to guide the ships um, on the waters when it's dark. And also let them warn them when the waters are dangerous. Yes. So we as people being Christians of God, being the light... We're, the, we're here to help others, guide people to God, guide people through danger. When they're going through difficult times or dangerous times, we're there to encourage them, help them mm -hmm. through it um, as being the light of God. And so we want to make, make sure that we don't try to fit in. You know, we don't try to dim our light for certain things. You know, we want to make sure that we're um, being true to who we are. Well, um, Dr. Richard, I'm going to cut you off, but <laughs> I, I, one thing I was thinking about is that um, when, when you're a Christian, you are the culture. I like All that. Right, you are the culture. So you have to understand that you don't want to change who you truly are yeah. and who you're trying to be um, just because you want to fit in. Yeah. Um, but yes, um, it's two important days that I always think about. Um, the day I was born and then the reason why I found out I was born. Well, guess what? Yeah, the purpose. Uh, the, the, the true purpose of why I was born is to shine my light. Yeah. Now, of course, when you're shining your light, everybody has different venues or different ways of shining their light. That's true. So, you know, my my light may be through coaching. Yeah. Um, Dr. Rich light light could be through you no know, dentistry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Other people light could be from any other you no know, profession, social, you no know, anything. Social and, media, yeah. it could be yeah, it could be celebrities, yeah. it could be you know, anything. Just anything it could be your light. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. Being a it. good neighbor. That's it. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Will, will you be my neighbor? Um, uh, but that could be your light. And in the midst of you showing your light or letting your light shine, you have to make sure that you're always doing it for God. Yeah. And not doing it for personal gain. Oh uh, yeah, or your attention for attention, <coughs> for money. You know, really Think back in, because I love that scripture in Matthew um, chapter 5. It's saying that, you know, it's for God's glory. And I think sometimes in life, we can get caught up in what we want, you know. And so many times, even even being the light, because it can be exhausting sometimes if you're yeah. continuously trying to do the right thing, do good. And and it can just be hard sometimes because we're human and we're imperfect and we have emotions. And we have days where I don't feel like being the light. Hey, I don't feel hey, like being the salt today. Hey. I just feel like being me. Oh, I'm chilling. <laughs> right? I'm just going to sprinkle dark. No, yeah. we can't sprinkle dark. But, you know, but basically, you know, we have those days where we feel like that. And that's when we have to realize that it's not about us. But in Christ, we're plugging into the source. Because when mm -hmm. we plug into the source of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, they're, they're going to give us the strength that we need to be the light. Even when we don't feel like we that will basically override our own emotions about being the light you know there's days when you're just like i don't feel like it but when you're praying to god you're spending time in his word you're studying in the bible you know it just changes your mindset it changes the way you walk the way you talk the way you speak and it's so important to plug into the source of god so that we can continuously be that light that he expects for us to be and needs us to be in this dark world well, nothing I think about is is allowing your light to shine. You know, I that's the that. biggest thing. So I'm gonna What's read, the definition? I, yeah, I'm going to read a little definition. <laughs> so shine, to give off yeah. or reflect light. I love it. Now, I want, now for those off, that's listening, that, that's, a, uh, that's a 
That's a sermon. That's a sermon right there. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. But I want you to think about this when you're yeah. talking about the shine. If you're allowing your light to go go off, right? Mm -hmm. You're giving your light off. That means when people see you, they can see Christ in you. Yeah. You no, know, and when you walk into a room, you just walk a different way. You talk a different way. You react a different way in various situations. Yeah. So, but then I want you to think about who are you reflecting your light? How, how is your light reflecting off of? What is it reflecting off of? Mm -hmm. Is it reflecting off your own beliefs, your own wants, your own needs? Are you coming in being super selfish and people are and you giving that light off? Or are you seeing people see that Christ-like spirit in you mm -hmm. and you're giving off in everything that you do? And again, like Dr. Rich said, yeah, you, you may get a little weary. Mm -hmm. you, you may get to a point where you just don't want to be that light, but guess what? It's not about you. Yeah, and I love the scripture that says, don't tire in doing good. And we'll put that down there. But it yeah. even says that because God knows, like, it can be exhausting. Yeah. But I know that the more we plug into God as the source, he will strengthen us and give us. Because really, everything that we do is in God's strength, right? Everything that we do is in God's strength. And as long as we're plugging into him as the source, he will help us not to feel so weary, not to feel so drained, and not to tire of doing good, you know. And and I love that, Rob. So and I think that's a good point. I'm, I don't know reason I looked at you like this. <laughs> I think you just said something. Shoot, everybody want to know who the plug. God is the plug. God is the plug. God is the plug. Hey, Peter plug. hey listen. I love it. Stay plugged into your source. You didn't, I'll be totally honest with you. Yeah. When I'm not plugged in, then guess what? I'm walking in darkness. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. I may go down the street that I can't find my way out of. But when I'm plugged in, yeah. them paths look a lot more clearer. Yes. And the, the, I'm sorry. Go, no, no, no. Right. Go, go, go. I, I'm, go ahead. The way you plug into the source, number one, prayer life. Making sure that you have a consistent prayer life with God. Pray mm -hmm. without ceasing. Morning, evening, afternoon, night. You know, like I tell my patients about brushing their teeth. Morning, noon, and night. Like, brush your teeth. Okay. Like, pray to God like that. Okay. And even more often than that. Brush your teeth while you pray. But, hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. Anytime. And then also mm -hmm. make sure you're studying the word. So, in God's word, listen to the Bible. Listen to the Bible. Read the Bible. Whatever you like to get God's word, do that. And do it on a daily basis. Meditate on it day and night. Now, that it doesn't mean that you have to meditate on all throughout the day. Because we have other things in our lives like jobs and different things that we have to do. And you do not get paid to just sit and read your Bible at work. So and if make, you do, you're Hey, more power to you. We love you. The, that's great. And and so basically, um, making sure that you're studying the word daily and getting God's word in you. And, and also fellowshipping with Christians. Fellowshipping yes, with good yes, people. Fellowshipping yes. with um, fellow people who are like-minded. That's how you plug into the source also because they give you a good <coughs> godly cause, um wisdom and counsel mm -hmm. and it helps you through your you know they encourage you to keep striving keep living keep being the light in this world you realize i'm not alone like yes, i'm not the yes, only light yes, in this world like it's yes. so many other um lights you know that's in the world and i like what you said earlier about when you go into the room your your talk is different and everything and i feel like when you're coming into a room our energy as christians as light should be Boy. just different you know like when we walk in we should brighten the room up because mm -hmm. it's like hey I'm not just representing myself. I'm representing God. And like, it doesn't mean it should come in loud. Like, hey, what's up, yeah. God? Uh, God, no. God good. All the time, all the time, no. God is good. No. Because, I mean, what did, what did, uh, Dizzle watch to say in that movie? Hey. I mean, against you too loud. Yeah, like, too you don't have to be too loud. Like, too loud. You, you ain't got to do that. But you, but you can come in and it's just something different about yeah. you. Like, man, they can be like, something different about your spirit. Like, I guess so. <laughs> it's I like, like you. It's, you like know? A, it's like a lion, right? <laughs> like, a lion doesn't have to roar. I like that, Ryan. A lion can walk in, and you gonna know he's a lion. Yeah, I know you can see the mane. I know you can see, but it's that that That's that confidence, right. that that, yeah, that, that, that smooth like confidence that they walking in. You be like, man, hold on. Something that, different about that walk, like. Is that lion? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so and that's what you gotta think about yeah. when, when you walking in somewhere. And I'm not saying it's not all. Of, it's not about just you know how you walk in. No, but, it's not. But, but it's your spirit. That's it. It's, it's your heart. Your it's mind. about yeah. you knowing who you're representing. Yeah. And you know who you're here to hopefully show others about or tell others about. Yeah. And when you do that, people can't help but say, you know what? Can I get a little bit of that? Yeah. Can, can I just get a pinch? And wow, and, and like they said, they'll see your good works and want to glorify God in heaven. Like That's they want to know more about it. And it, it doesn't mean that you just automatically go in there like, I gotta do this, I gotta do no. this, so I can represent God. No, it's just who you are. Yeah. You know, just being you, whether it's listening to people, being patient with people. Hey. Like Ramo hey. said earlier about the way you react in certain situations. Sometimes people do stuff just to see yeah. how like, oh she yeah. or she says she's a Christian or he says she's a Christian. Let's Let see, see what they're gonna do about this. And they'll come over and mess around spill a drink on you, man. You be hey. like, Really? Right. Now you're gonna be like, No, you didn't. Just spill the drink on me. Or you just be like, oh, you know what? It's okay. Let me go to the bathroom. Let me grab some yeah, napkin towels yeah. and walk away. Like, I'm not about to get involved with this food. She's like, maybe yeah. it was supposed to spill on me today. Let me go 
get it cleaned up. You know, like or if you step on your J's. Hey, Ramos. Yeah, that, that, step on your J. That's step right there. Like, hey, I know, that's a technical file. In, in the platform, <laughs> I say, what? Well, hold on. You only you only get three. You got two more. Right. But how would you react? Are you gonna react like God wants you to react? Where he he's up in heaven, like man, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Right. Or are you gonna react? And he be like, my child. He be like, man. I'm gonna have to give him another chance. Hey. They didn't pass that test, but I'm gonna give him another one. So hey. you want to make sure that we're pleasing God. Yeah, you, you know, know? you don't want him to be like depart from me. No. You know, we want to get well that, done. Hey, you better be well, well done. done. Well done. And look, you should be thinking about that when you go into situations. Yeah. If somebody come in talking crazy to you, got no teachers. I know one thing that a lot of teachers have to deal with. And, and then send, and anybody that's dealing with the public. If you deal with people, yes. whether they're what, small people or, or big, big people. Yeah. Either. You know. Yeah, you know. You know small fools are big ones. <laughs> uh, they, they may come in to you and they may be feeling real foolish. And they start being talking crazy to you. And you know what you gotta do? You may say a little silent prayer, and you gotta think about it. Depart. <laughs> oh, oh, well done. Oh, well done. <laughs> now you gonna be well done. I, am I gonna have to say something? I have to pause. Yeah, that's it. Like, I like that one. Like, you know, like, like, like Lord, if, if I have to go back and be like, I'm sorry. My bad. I made a mistake. I'm almost got to miss him. You know, no. we want to make sure we represent God. Like Ramos said on Supreme Video videos, we need that bracelet back. WWJD, hey, hey, what, what would Jesus, Jesus do? do? So I just look down. Like, uh, what would Jesus do? Hey, no, he would not duck at me, but <laughs> I know he got angry. He would not clap back. Hey, feel me? He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna go in there flipping no tables. <laughs> Don't be there talking no. about man. Listen, God ain't here, so he don't know. He, <laughs> he knows. knows. He's he watching. Yeah. So yeah. So make sure we pass. Hey, listen. listen. Well done. <laughs> not, not depart, depart. from me. We're yeah, it's all waiting around. Well done. Yeah. Not depart from me. So it. also things that we can do to represent the light, whether we already said encouraging people, but you can write small notes. You, if you know someone's in need, you can help them in that way, yeah. or give them your time. Just being generous. It's just different. Basically, being a light is about so. Like Jesus was our ultimate example about being a light yeah. in this world. When he was here, <clears throat> it was about serving God and serving others. You know, that's the main thing. Like when you're serving others. Looking out, not like Ramo said earlier, not being selfish, but looking out for other people's needs or even just being a listening ear. Like, I listen to a lot of people at my job every day. Like, just listen. I mean, don't say not one word. Just listen. Or just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Or if they ask my opinion, I may say something. Or, you know, if they don't, I just sit there listen. Like, sometimes just being a listening ear to that person or being that. You, and then, right, you said something else about dealing with teachers. Um, well, I'm, I'm just saying, like, when you deal with, yeah, okay. with public, with, with the public, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know teachers, y'all know, you know, you, you, you deal with the kids, and sometimes them kids come in there with a whole bunch of devil in them <laughs> at 7 30 in the morning. Other people. And, and, and you, you looking at them like, listen, I just woke up. <laughs> I, I'm just here to hopefully spread joy and knowledge in your head. <laughs> yeah. And you all in my head doing the most. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, can you, yeah. can you sit your little self down so we can learn today? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you still got a little demon in you. <laughs> your name Damon? Well, no. And, and, and I think that's it right there. Yeah, you have to okay. understand that regardless of who you go come in contact with, that your purpose is always to shine your light. Yeah. And wherever you are, if you... It's always about God. Yeah, it, it, it has to be about God. Yeah. So that, that's that's the biggest thing about shining your light. I love that, right? And I was gonna when you said something else about... One thing I, I always think about also, Dr. Rich, would be about when you're with others that may not, you know, shine their light on a consistent basis. Or may not have your same beliefs. Yes, yes. You know, yes, that happens yes. a lot in schools, yes, in college, yes. even in, in the workplace. Yes. You know, it happens when you're around other people who may not share your beliefs and you kind of want to cower back and hide a little bit. Or, or you want to relate so much to them that you start doing what they do. You don't want to stick out. Yeah, so you're that's like, it. I'm yeah. You're like, man, hold on, let me go and say a little curse, curse. Yeah. Curse. No. no they, they let me this. gossip. Yeah. Let me, oh, yeah. oh well, it's not really gossiping because we just talking. No, it's gossiping. And what you're going to do when you do that, you're dimming your light. You're yeah. putting that bowl over your light. Over the lamp. And, and, and you, you don't want that. You don't want that because at the end of the day, those people that you're around, your goal is to hopefully influence them to be better. Not them influencing you. Uh -huh. You know, that's especially because if it. you have the truth, like we have the truth, we know the truth, we know God. And, and and it may not happen like the next day. It may not happen a few weeks. It may not even happen a couple of months or years. But sometimes those people come back to you and be like, man, you had a positive impact hey, on my life. Like yeah, you will. you were the it reason will. why I started like reading my Bible. Or yep. you know, you just never know what your life like Robert Moses saying, like if if you're around darkness and like whether it's around people that are just hateful, 
confusion, chaos. In this world, it's so much darkness from people yeah. to situations to where wherever we go, whether it's the grocery store, the store, things can just restaurants or just in businesses, things just happen. Yeah. But where God put us there to be that light for Him That's to it. reflect his light to others yes, so yes. making sure that you're not cowering back but because of fear of standing out mm -hmm. you know don't be afraid to stand, stand yeah. out don't be man god created you to be different man. he created all of us to be different and you have to own it man i'm a big believer in owning who you are like if you uh, can't nobody be a better you than you like <coughs> own it and like especially with god is on your side like you just don't know what your you know what you you being in your be, you being the light that God created you to be will have on somebody else being their light you know like we're all connected so I think that's so important. No, you're right. You know what? Own it. Uh, uh, have uh, your swag up. Only Jesus. thing I'm thinking about is uh, the Goofy movie. Stand out. <laughs> you're so stupid. Across the ground, <laughs> even if you got to shout out loud. That's my jam. Tonight is the it. only place you'll see you get to stand out. So you know what it's me. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Hey, yeah, Powerline. Hey, Powerline. Power Timmy Campbell. Yeah. Like, what? That yeah. was a good little movie. It was. It was. But he was trying. But Max was trying to say. He was trying to stand out. Talk, was, and guess what? Roxanne. Roxanne. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> that, that used to be our movie. Like, was, like, was, like, it was, it was. But yeah, but I like it. Stand out, man. Hey. Stand out, and don't be ashamed to stand out. Don't be ashamed of. I mean, so many people are not afraid to do foolish things in the world every day. Not not. I look on social media. Some people, people go in there do. and like, like take mannequins off the thing, try to walk out the store. They have this other the other stuff where you take stuff from people that you don't even know. At least that's what it seems like. Yeah, yeah. it could be all. If they if you out there that reckless, why can't somebody you know be be safe enough and say, "Look, God is good." Yeah, right. You know, just be like, "Look, man, look, yeah. I don't have to take your stuff, but here's a Bible." Yes. You know what I'm saying? Or, or here's a verse. Here's a good. Here's some good good news. Yes. No, he goes. He goes some good advice, some good words. No, I love it. I think that right there would would change more lives than not. It may not get a lot of likes. And I, I'll be real with you. He may not get a lot of followers, but guess what? Guess yeah. what's happening? Him up, him upstairs. Yeah. Him upstairs. <laughs> He's so silly. Yeah. And so I love that, Rod. That's a good thing. So hopefully, okay. So I think those were some good points about um, we discussed about shining your light. So we're just gonna give you a few scriptures to help encourage you. Um, on this journey to continue to shine your life for Christ and be the people that God created us to be. So the first one will be Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. And it says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So I love that scripture because it's saying how God already prepared these things for us to do. So we're all interconnected, like we said before. So, you know, part of us doing like living out me doing living out my purpose ramos living out his purpose it may inspire someone else to live out their purpose and what god needs for us to do is be that light to encourage others reflecting light and leading others back to him keep the cycle going i love um, it the next verse is mark 12 30 through 31 uh love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength the second is this love your neighbor as yourself there is no commandment greater than this these I love it because I think that's big on the light. Like as long as we're loving God, loving others, Man. that's the main key. That's you know? why letting your light shine is by love. Love is the key. Mm -hmm. Love is the biggest thing. If you're loving others like you love yourself, I'm telling you, your, your light will shine so bright that people will have to wear sunshades to talk to you. <laughs> I love it. And then the last one we want to end with is John chapter 1 verse 5. It says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. So the only thing that can overcome darkness is light. It's light. More darkness cannot overcome darkness. Mm -hmm. Only light can. So if you're in an environment that's dark right now, whether it's at school, work, or wherever your environment is at home, just know that Evil can't overcome evil. Mm -hmm. Only good can. Only mm -hmm. uh, darkness can't overcome darkness. So if people are dark around you or you're in a dark environment, don't be dark too. Because you have to make sure that you're shining your light. Because only light can brighten up a dark room. Just think about it. We're walking into a dark room and if we, if we don't have any type of light on us and we're just dark too, it's going to be blending with darkness. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that can change the darkness is being that light, being that spark of light to change to change people's lives. And I like... Um, Rob Mose and I were listening to a sermon. It was really good. And it was talking about how basically that if you have darkness all around you mm -hmm. and you're that light, you have to make sure that 
that darkness can't come where you, you know to to come in come inside of you to impact your light. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you keep yourself in a way that you're still reflecting light, and you know don't let that darkness come in, come into your mm -hmm. heart, your mind. Like no matter what it is, if it's not of God, reject that mess, keep mm -hmm. that mess back, and make sure that you're filling your mind with things that's gonna bring you light, and make your light want to shine brighter. And I hope I explained you right, but basically you don't want to be overcome by darkness if yeah. you're in a dark environment or with dark people. Well, stand strong in your faith. Yes. Hold Hold on to God's unchanging hand and allow allow his love to be reflected off of how you give your love to other people. I love that, Rye. Bam. Mm. Amen. So we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope it helped you guys. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Make sure that you don't forget to like, comment, share our videos, and definitely just say hello. Stop by say hello to us. We love it. Bye. Stay lit. Always stay lit.